Good afternoon, everyone. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We're doing a 2008 a, uh, box break of 2018 Bowman Draft Baseball. This is 8 box jumbo edition. Pick your team number five from jazbeescasebreaks.com. Big thing, big thanks to it's upside down. Big <laughs> to these folks for getting the action on a Wednesday. TC with triple last spot mojo. He got the last few teams, including one big one in the Tigers. And look at this. Merry Christmas, John Oakray from Rory. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Here is the eight boxes right here. Let's make myself a little room here. Josh Pru saying, if John wins on Rory's gifted spot, does he have to share the gift with Rory? Well, I don't know. We'll we'll see what kind of gift giver Rory is when that happens, Josh. Imagine if like you know, like some like a super fractor auto pops out. All right, two, four, six, eight, right there. Good luck, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for getting into it. Remember the jumbo, three autographs per box. What's going on here? A little bit of a dent there from the factory. Packs seem okay. All right, good luck, everybody. Here we go. It's been a minute or two since I've done one of these. I think Nick did some over the weekend, Sunday and Monday. It's been a little bit since I've done it, so hopefully this will be a good one. Josie, what's going on? Uh-oh, I'm getting time. TJ's got the stopwatch going. All right, let's see, let's see if I could... Yeah, I've been, I feel like I've been breaking these at a pretty good clip as of late. I think I've been doing the eight box jumbos right at about an hour. Ideally, I'd be able to get it to like, I don't know, I think 50 minutes would be pretty hard. That's, that's a little difficult, but let's see. It's a time trial, ladies and gentlemen. All right, remember, no paper base ships, but all the Chrome cards do. So that's why for the paper, we'll just breeze by these pretty quickly. Obviously, the numbered cards will ship, like Brax and Ashcraft. Green paper to 99 for the Pirates. Uh, that's uh, EA with the Pirates. And our first, oh, and we'll do left right randomizers for these. Our first autograph is going to be for the Royals. Auto, yes, auto. Chris Bubich for Bill Anton and the Royals. Nice. Cody West is saying, this is such a long break. Is this a good time to discuss quantum physics in detail? Sure. We'll talk quantum physics. Um, physics. Space. Gravity. The bending of time. What are, we can talk about that. And that involves quantum physics, right, I think? Not sure if I know what quantum physics is. You should, uh, if you want to talk about space, ladies and gentlemen, think of space. If you're trying to wrap your head around gravity, think think of space as a blanket. 
and then if you put like a bowling ball on a blanket, you know, it, it kind of dips, the blanket would dip in if let's say you were able to stretch out that blanket. That dip right there, that's gravity. Light bends around that too. Sometimes you can see stars behind stars because of that gravity bend, light bend. Crazy, right? Grant Little to 250, purple paper for the Padres. Josh Proust with the Friars. And our next autograph is Noah Naylor. Is he any any relation to Josh Naylor? Isn't there a Josh Naylor in the league? There it is, younger brother of Josh Naylor. There you go. Cleveland Indians, that'll go to Greg Dunway. They are brothers. John, okay, we could talk about if alien life exists. I guess, what is your definition of life? There's Bo Bouchette, nice one for the Blue Jays, out of 250, purple chrome, that goes to Jared. Um, I mean, if you consider like maybe a single-celled organism as life, yeah, there's, there's got to be life. Intelligent life? Life that can build a spaceship? I mean, that's got to be possible, too. It's, space is pretty big. <laughs> Rich says, Earth is flat, space is fake. No, we didn't go to the moon. Rich Schmidt is actually Steph Curry. <laughs> so we should be expecting one more autograph out of here. Got blue paper, Ezekiel Pagan. Is, is this a relation of Angel Pagan? Doesn't say. That'll go to the Cubbies. That'll be for Darren McKenzie, DMAC. Hey, Mike Tower is like, now let's first, let's see if there's intelligent life on Earth. There's Cole Wynn. 153 out of 499, Refractor Auto for a TC and the Rangers. That was a last spot mojo pickup. He is a Southern California kid. Nice first round pick for the Rangers. Cole went Orange Lutheran High School. I guess MLB.com is saying he's a little more polished than your average high school high school pitcher. There's Cole Cottom out of 402, blue chrome. Josh Proust saying, just think there could be an alien version of me. That's true. If you believe in string theory, I think it's string theory, there are possibilities of alternate universes all over the place. I think, didn't we learn that in, what's the space movie with, with uh, Matthew McConaughey? All right, all right, all right. All right, there's our first set. Of, actually, we're going to do an auto recap at the end, so we're going to stack those there. I'm going to put the parallels safely away over here. Parallels, unless they're super low numbered, parallels will be sleeved and top loaded by our sorting and shipping crew later on, so don't worry about that. No, it's true, Mike Tower. I mean, you think mathematics, if you're, a, if you're a, a gambling man, I know I am. Most of you guys are, if you if you enjoy the group breaks. If you're a gambling man, you got to think that the that the odds are there with some sort of intelligent life being elsewhere, or at least life elsewhere in the millions of stars, millions of galaxies hosting millions of stars, hosting millions of planets. Rich, Rich says wrong, Mike Tower. We're in the matrix. We're all just programs. That's right. Your destiny has been predetermined. Your destiny in this break, everybody, has been predetermined by the matrix, whether you hit or not. If you don't hit, you can just blame the programmers. 
That's just the way it's been ordained when the program was made. Randall work to be part of the matrix. All right, next box, ladies and gentlemen. See, this is what happens, ladies and gentlemen. Join a great, join a group break at jazbeescasebreaks.com. You never know what what direction we end up in. Could get weird. It's all right. We like getting a little weird. There's Will Banfield out of 4.99 for the Marlins. And there's a Jackson Coar. For the Royals, another Royal for Bill Anton. So John says, so as these aliens, unless they're breaking all sorts of space-time rules, the closest inhabitable planet is like 20 light years away. It would take around 100,000 years traveling at the speed of light to get there, or for them to get here. Yeah, so unless they got a head start, if they're, if they're, universe, if they're solar system or whatever, their star system is older than maybe they would have had a head start. They'd be on their way. And I guess I, I believe less in... There's Grayson for the Braves. I believe less in intelligent life reaching us, though. I believe it's out there somewhere. But... The possibility of them finding us, the speck of dust among specks of dust. I believe in that a little bit less. <laughs> Mike Tower says, if there are aliens elsewhere, hopefully they're friendly and they subsist on base cards. Well, we would have plenty of ba paper base at the moment. Maybe some red? Red? No, orange. Ah. Got excited for a second. This is still nice, though. 25 out of 25 orange paper for the Orioles. I like when the parallel matches the color of the team that goes to EA. EA with the Baltimore Orioles. And a redemption. Any guesses on that redemption? Rich says, I'm an alien. Rich, don't give it away. We could just be Horton Here's a Who. That's why I love that movie. Or book, I guess, first. There's Joey Wentz, Carson's brother. I don't think he's Carson's brother. Ooh, Rich Schmidt guessing a dual autograph on that redemption. That'd be cool. I haven't seen a dual auto yet. I mean, I saw Nick pull one. I haven't pulled one. There's Ryan Mountcastle at a 402. When's he getting called? Is he already called up? Did he get a cup of coffee last year? Mountcastle post pretty good. Josh Proust guessing Carl Weathers. <laughs> William L saying somewhere in an alternate universe. Joe Jaspi is, is uh, breaking case upon case of absolute basketball. I'm probably on like case 20 at that point, alternate universe. We got some pirates. We got, oh, that swag. Look at that. 72 out of 75, Travis Swaggerty, Pirates, EA Sports. It's in the game. That swag, though. That is nice. That's a cool black border for the Buckos. He's supposed to be a big deal, too. And in that alternate universe, you had Gary Trent Jr., one of ones popping out, all going to you, William. Uh, 
All right. So behind Adonis Medina, your redemption. Congratulations to someone. You are due to receive a Chrome draft pick autograph of G R Gra Grayson Allen, Grayson Rodriguez. Where does Grayson go? Grayson Rodriguez is a Central Heights High School product in Texas. Goes to the Baltimore Orioles. There you go. E, I think EA with the O's. There you go. The 11th overall pick. Rodriguez's stuff took off over the past year as he got in better shape, according to MLB.com, and his stock improved accordingly. His best pitch is a heavy 92-94 mile per hour fastball that will break bats. Both his slider and curveball are solid options. The O's definitely need that starting pitching. <laughs> Although high school, so it might take a minute or two for him to get there. A little bit longer than the college grads. All right. Next box. Good luck. Uh, Rory, we have not seen any Brewers as of yet. Oh, this is only box three, though, so plenty of chances. Rory, we were all wondering. I know it was very nice of you to gift uh, Mr. Ocrade. The, the Brewers in this break, Rory. Now, we were, Josh Proust and I were wondering what happens if, uh, if a Super Fracture autograph pops out. Will you be looking for a little, uh, a little conversation on that? And we're like, we'll have to see what kind of gift giver Rory is. Good luck, everybody. Box three, another three autographs. Anyone have any big baseball news go down today? I don't think things have been a little bit quiet on the uh, on the hot stove. All right, paper. JT Real Muto, big catching. Uh, Great catching free agent? No, he's for trade, maybe? I think a lot of people are looking at him, including my Dodgers. Corey Kluber rumors are backups as Cody West. There's Brandon Marsh to 499. And look at this. Alec Baum, draft night autograph. Gold, 41 out of 50. That's your third overall pick. He's got like a Aaron Nola type A there in his autograph. And that goes to Luke Smith and the Phillies. Nice. That is strong. Well, tell me what your team is, ladies and gentlemen, what you hope for your team in the offseason as well. I'd be interested in that. Jake Baum, Wichita State University. May, Alec Baum may offer the best combination of hitting for average and power and a magnet for walks. Gilo saying the Royals are going for the 2019 uh, World Championships with the speed, or tag World Championship with the speed they keep signing. There's Jeter Downs for the Reds. See, I, Cody was saying maybe Corey Kluber to Cincinnati for Nick Senzel and Taylor Trammell. See, I don't know if the Reds are willing to do that, though. I think they like the idea of having Kluber kind of man the front of their rotation. Nice Tristan Casas, 126 out of 150 on that Atomic. But, you know, they're, they're kind of youth movement right now, so. 
but I, I like that they're kicking the tires on Kluber. Cody West hoping that the Indians don't actually trade everybody. Thing is, they could and build a really, really solid team for the future and still win the AL Central. Unless, like, the Twins get their act together. Um, Josh Proust is a Red Sox guy, hopes they sign Mookie Betts long term. Speaking of the Reds, there's Josiah Gray. No relation to Joe Gray or Jonathan Gray, in case you were wondering at home, ladies and gentlemen. That's uh, Rich Schmidt with the Cincinnati Reds. You don't think the Red Sox are going to sign Mookie Betts long term? I certainly would, right? There's Alex Kirilov for the Twins out of 250. TJ Singh hopes for the Dodgers. Keep Bellinger. I hope they keep Cody Bellinger too. But are they are they dangling? Oh, you'd like Josh Proust like would want the deal done now. They might as well. I think the the Astros locked up Altuve pretty early, right? I think he's Betts is that kind of player. There's Noah Naylor out of 402. Looking for one more autograph out of this box. Probably in that stack right there. I didn't realize they were dangling Cody Ballinger. I thought I think, yeah, outfield is a little crowded. I feel like the outfield would be be where they go. Yeah, Michael Brantley to Houston. I think that's a great deal. If Michael Brantley can stay healthy, remember that one year before he went down with all those injuries for multiple years? If if Michael Brantley could get healthy, remember that one almost MVP season? Hey, Rich Schmidt, there it is. Jonathan India, 53 out of 250. Purple chrome autograph. That's the man that Rich Schmidt has been hunting for. Hey, Arthur, what's going on? AP's in the house. There you go, man. There's your fifth overall pick, Jonathan India, third baseman. We haven't seen a lot of him in these breaks. I'm sure Rich is happy. He's nice, he says. From uh, Florida, breakout player in the college baseball's best conference, SEC, this year. Solid tools across the board, starting with the ability to hit, growing power, fine approach to the plate, defensive versatility. So we might see him in the majors sooner rather than later with all those with all those factors, Rich, that's a good one. There's a Rogers kid, Cody Clemens to 99. That's a true story. But yeah, Michael Brantley. If they can get, if the if the Astros get Michael Brantley, MVP style Michael Brantley back, that makes the Astros really scary. That was a really smart play by them. All right, nice box. Another nice box in the books. Yeah, Mets making a lot of moves too, Jaden. That's in, that's very interesting. I didn't think they would go that direction, but they're making the big moves. Um, I think the the Mets GM, sports agent turned GM, I think announced on radio recently that he thinks that they're the best team in the NL East. An interesting statement, you know. So I don't. And I, maybe they're not done with moves yet. And I guess I guess they're not going to be trading. Uh, tra they're not going to be trading Degrom and uh, or and or Syndergaard anytime soon. Yeah, Jonathan India Rich has been elusive in these breaks. Glad we finally found him. Josh Prue still looking for Carl Weathers in these breaks. That's what I'm calling him. Carl Weathers. Good old Carl Weathers. You guys remember Carl Weathers? Of course you do. Everyone remember Carl Weathers.
All right, nice. Braden Hansen saying, just bought the last three in Cornerstones. Well, thanks, Braden. This break should be over in about half hour or so. So we'll jump into that Cornerstones right after this break, about halfway through this one. Good old Carl Weathers. Rich, you like Predator Carl Weathers better than than Rocky Carl Weathers? There's Chris Bubich, purple paper for the Royals to 250. He is 70 years old, ladies and gentlemen. He went to uh, San Diego State University and San Francisco State University. Uh, William, I do too. That's one of my favorite Carl Weathers performances. That would be Carl Weathers as Carl Weathers in Arrested Development. What an underrated show. Oh, did I miss the auto? Come on, Carl Weathers. I blame Carl Weathers. There's Caden Grenier. Sorry, Eric. EA. I almost shorted that guy in auto. Although the shipping team would have found it. They would have found it. They'd be like, Joe, you're not, you're not showing autos anymore? I blame Carl Weathers for distracting me from this late first round pick for EA and the O's. Good eye, Josh Pruce. There's Paul's kid, Cal Quantrill, for Josh and the Friars. All right, yeah, let's see if we haven't, we haven't seen a Carl Weathers in a while. Where are you, Carl Weathers? Wasn't he a redemption? I think we saw him once. Carl Weathers was a, that's right, Carl Weathers did play for my Raiders. That's right, that's one of my favorite performances of Carl Weathers. Defensive end for a couple of years. There's Jackson Kowar at a four ninety nine. Not gonna miss this one. Gold Wave Grayson Janista twenty six out of fifty. That also goes to EA and the Bravos. Twenty six out of fifty on that one. That card is gold. Four one seven saying Peterman, yeah, Nathan Peterman signed with the Raider practice squad. He's not even on the fifty three men. He's not. He's not going to play. It's just because AJ McCarron's wife had a kid. You know, he's doing the dad thing. Relax, folks. Should be expecting one more autograph. There is Alec Thomas for the D backs out of 150, Max with the snakes. And our third autograph out of this box is going to be. Oh, what up, bro? Josh Bro, that goes to the New York Yankees Junior within the Yankees. There you go. We 
William, what was the, what was the thing that Carl Weathers always did in the rest of development? He want what kind of, what kind of a uh, he was making some kind of stew. <laughs> that would be like the running joke, and the running jokes. That's right up my alley, comedy wise. Uh, a French Yankee. Can you imagine? Uh, uh, both a uh, both a carpetbagger and a scalawag. Arthur, what, what? You're in the hospital. What's going on? Some sort of infection. How'd that happen? Uh, I feel like I feel like you're. I think David Noe has been in and out of the hospital recently too. What's going on with you guys? What's going on out there? Is this is this a say zombie infection? AP? Can you give me a zombie. That's how it starts. Don't be don't be a zombie, Arthur. Well, at least you're. I'm. I'm glad you're feeling better enough to uh, to chat in the stream, though, Arthur. Feel better, man. Oh no! You got. How'd you get stabbed by a rusty nail? You doing some work around the house? Oh, that sucks. Well, I'm glad you're feeling better enough for for you to chat, my friend. That's the good news. All right, next stack of packs here. RT, I have a question for you, Joe. Uh, is it better to invest in just one car at a time that's really good or buy a ton of boxes? If I had to choose one, probably one card at a time. You know, that way, yeah, I guess it really depends on what your budget is and what you find to be entertaining. What's fun for you? What's a fun way to collect? You know? First of all, I, I hesitate to use the word invest and stuff like this. This is really more collecting for the pure fun of it. Investment is really more of a side thing, if you can even call it that. If you're going to invest, you probably have to be rookies in basketball or rookies in Bowman Draft, if you want to use that word. And if, if you don't want to deal with buying, you know, $200 boxes at a time to search for those big rookies, you can just buy the, uh, you can just buy the individual card and hold on to it. Let people know, you know, you can buy the rookie straight up. Well, Arthur, we'll be thinking about you, man. Before Christmas, too. Unbelievable. Well, just hang, relax, Arthur. Just hang with us. All the good vibes from Jaspi's Case Breaks will, will be sent towards Arizona. Maybe that'll help. No, I'm glad you're, I'm glad you're uh, chatting, though. Just kick back and relax. There's Anthony Sigler right here. All right, Yankees with that second autograph. Junior with another one. There's Micah Bello out of 402. That'll go to John Oakray and the Brew Crew, courtesy of Rory. A little Christmas gift there. Robert Rohr, Merry Christmas to you too. Uh, no... Uh, no Casey Mize yet. Got Bo Burrows for the Tigers. Maybe Casey Mize's future teammate. 
And I think where that question mark spot is in the schedule, that's where the Cornerstones is going to go, and I think it's going to be Optic Football right after that. There's Shane McClanahan for the Tampa Bay Rays. Daniel Patera with the Rays. Refractor Auto. Purple Chrome, Logan Allen, out of 250. That was a pretty good movie, Logan. There is Thomas Ponticelli, 183 out of 402. That will be for the tribe. Indeed, they do, Robert Orr. Tampa Bay does have a lot of good prospects in this set. They have like four or five different rookies in this set, I think. Some gold paper coming up. There's Helio Ramos, 5 out of 50 gold paper for Big Boys 007 and the Giants, who's looking for a Joey Bart box. I haven't seen a box top. Box art would be pretty cool. Your autograph is going to be Ryan Rollison. Ryan Rollison for the Rocks, for Robert. Robert Throne, watch the throne with that one. Nice, your late first round pick there. Excellent. Nice, thanks, 417. So that'll happen after Cornerstones. I think you spelled it right, Cody West. I do too. Good alliteration is always, always awesome. Mason Denneberg out of 150. We saw our three autographs there. We'll do an auto recap at the end of the video. And there you have it. Three boxes to go in this one, ladies and gentlemen. Three boxes to go. Let me uh, update the schedule really quick. There you go. So right now we're finishing up this uh, the last three boxes of the Bowman Jumbo break. This is Picker T number five. If you're just joining us, <coughs> excuse me. And then um, in about twenty minutes or so, in about twenty minutes or so, we'll uh, we'll clear this break away. And we'll get Cornerstone basketball started, which doesn't take very long. Give away fifty bucks of break credit. And then, after that, we've got Optic Football filled up. So I'll start around, around 6 o'clock Pacific. Maybe a little bit earlier than that. My timing is off on some of this. Anyhow, we'll figure it out. Well, actually, maybe it might be right, because we got we got to do that randomizer for the... Uh, for the gift, St. Nick's gifts here too. I think that schedule is pretty close. But anyhow, we're gonna finish this break up. We're gonna give away one of those prizes, one of those gift boxes sitting behind me. That's our brand new promo. Check that out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Basically, join any break with St. Nick in the title, St. Nick Jaspie. And then we'll do Cornerstones basketball after that. Give away $50 of break credit in that break. And then Donner's Optic Football, brand new release, just filled up. So we'll knock that out. And so we'll probably be ready for the next break 
at around 7.30 Pacific. All right. Good luck, everyone. Nine autographs to go, so plenty to go. Good luck to all. Been a nice break thus far. EA in the house saying just need an A's auto for the cycle. Yeah, you've actually, I think all your, all your teams have hit, right? Except for the A's. Nice. It's been a good break for you, Eric. All right, Josh Proust needs a Carl Weathers. There's Griffin Roberts, 250, purple paper for the Redbirds, the Cardinals. Another Jackson Coar blue wave this time for the Royals. 46 out of 150, Bill Anton with the Royals. Late first round pick. I think Royals fans like Gilo have been saying that they're pretty happy about their draft and their future. There's Sam Carlson getting closer to Carl Weathers. That goes to TC and the Mariners. Isn't Paul Rudd a Royal fan? That I do not know. There's Ryan Weathers, or I mean Carl Weathers. We're looking for his autograph now. 309 out of 499. Best hitter in this in this draft class? Yeah, probably Alec Baum in the 2018 class. Um, Joey Bart would be the best catcher. He was drafted just ahead of Alec Baum. But yeah, those corner infielders, third baseman, first first baseman, generally pan out pretty nicely. There's Josh Stower. So, yeah, I, I would say he's the best one. There's Nick Madrigal uh, for the White Sox, who was drafted after Alec Baum. Um, this goes to TC and the Mariners, one of his last spot mojos. Triple last spot mojo. But Madrigal's pretty good. I think he's just a good pure hitter. Oh, Josh Bruce said the same thing. Yeah, he's a great pure hitter. Um, you know, could you know could be like a DJ LeMayhew type. You know what I mean? Hits for over 300. Could could project to that. Maybe a little pop here and there, but could do that. And Alec Baum seems to be like more of your traditional corner, your corner infielder, right? Can hit. Good eye. Good power too. There's Jesus Lazardo for EA. Uh, Rory saying Gorman. Nolan Gorman for the Cardinals is in there too. Speaking of Alec Baum, there he is. No, oh, come on. You guys see that? We pulled one earlier, so I don't feel so bad. Oh, is that a variation? Uh, so there's a reason why it was turned around, not just to, not just to trick me. All right, we'll set that aside so it'll get sleeved and top loaded before they all ship out. I thought ink. I guess variation's nice too. All right, fair enough. But my head, my head was in was in ink space. There's Shane McClanahan out of 150. And there's Daniel Lynch, 113 out of 250. Another Royal for Bill Anton. Nice, purple chrome, 250. There's your third autograph. Good luck, everybody. Or thanks, everybody. Third autograph, three more to go. Six more to go. 
There's two box right there. There's Jeff Conine's kid. Robert Roar's wondering if anyone thinks Ryan McMahon for the Rockies is going to be any good. Didn't he get a cup of coffee recently? Could be. I think maybe a couple years ago when we were breaking this stuff, he was kind of the bigger name for um, bigger name for the Rockies, at least. Organizationally, I think he's highly touted in that Rockies system. Rockies have a lot of prospects that are kind of in-betweeners now, right? They're kind of outgrowing AAA, but not quite ready for, not quite in the major leagues yet. But I think they're going to, I think, but I think they're going to get a lot of chances. Think about it. DJ LeMahieu is a free agent this year, I think, right? This offseason. I think Nolan Arenado is going to be a free agent next offseason. Trevor Story is going to be. So, so, um, with all those guys potentially leaving their club, the Rockies, they've got a lot of guys, a lot of prospects that are right behind them to, to fill in those spots. Right? There's um, Brendan Rodgers is still in the mix. So they got, they got a lot of, uh, they've got a lot of young talent just right behind those guys that may be leaving. So they've kind of planned well. So if at least half of those guys shake out, that would be, be a good thing for the organization. One of them becomes an all-star, maybe more. Other two become, you know, at least regular players. Other guy becomes a nice solid bench option. I mean, that'd be a good draft. That'd be a good, good way to build a team. Is it good play? Uh, isn't it good to play for the Rockies as a hitter? Says Cody. Well, yeah, it helps. It's not like in the '90s, where where baseballs are jumping off bats. You know what I mean? It's not like that anymore. But, but yeah, it's still pretty good. They've they've got big outfields out there. All right, three more autographs to go. Padres do have a ton of prospects that are about to come good too. Fernando Tatis Jr., that'll be a big one for the Padres. And, I, and people say that he is one of the more recent can't-miss kind of guys. I know there's no such thing as a real can't-miss kind of guy, but every once in a while, there, was, there are can't-miss guys. Right? I think Kershaw was a can't-miss kind of front-of-the-rotation guy. And there's Parker Meadows, Austin's brother. 369 out of 499, but I think Fernando Tatis is right up there as uh, as can't miss. Oh right, and they got they got the uh, they got Francisco Mejia in that Brad Hand trade with the Indians, and that's one of their the Indians' big catching prospects. That's why there's been some rumblings that the Dodgers may trade one of their two highly touted catching prospects to the Tribe. Maybe fill in that spot organizationally. Maybe try to try to pip some Corey Kluber away from them. Jay Cohen said a friend of yours who's a longtime minor league executive says that Tatis is one of the best prospects he's ever seen. That's what I hear too. Mackenzie Gore is gonna be great. That Manuel Margot, they got Manny Margot from the Red Sox organization, I think in that Kimbrel deal, right? Margot, I know he's been kind of up and down the last two years, but if you look at his age, the kid's only like 20 years old. I don't think he, I don't think he even buy a beer yet, legally. At one of those wonderful dive bars in San Diego. Yeah, so, I mean, again, 100% of your prospects are not going to pro uh, you know, pan out, obviously, right? But the Padres have put themselves in an ex excellent position where if they've got, like, you know, a couple of those guys become all-stars, there's uh, green paper, Cody Deason for the Astros. A couple of those guys become all-stars. You know? The other guys become regular starters, that kind of thing. I mean, that'd be great for the Padres. And they've got a little money. they got a veteran presence, Eric Hosmer out there. Get a little bit of pitching, spend a little extra money. They're the only show in town, no chargers. So 
they might be surprisingly good. They could make like a Atlanta Braves, Philadelphia Phillies kind of jump right there. There's another Pirate, another Bucko for EA in the Pirates. Oh, yeah, TJ's in the minor league industry, Jay Cohen. Small world. Yeah, TJ's with the Drillers. Director of Merchandise, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, TJ, right? Did I get your title right? Not only the Drillers, but they're, uh, they've are they got a USL soccer team there, too. Joe Gray. Out of 402 for the Brew Crew, John Ogray. Got to find some ink for John out of here. We got a we got a knowledgeable crew here at Jaspies, ladies and gentlemen. That's the that's the added value we deliver in addition to these group breaks on JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. There's Brendan McKay. Future two-way player, I hope, for the Rays at a four ninety-nine. Should be expecting one more autograph out of here, and I think there it is. It's going to be Cody Clemens. It is Rogers kid. Cody Clemens for the Tigers. It'll be for TC and the T Grays. Well, Jay Cohen, your friend Mike Nutter with the Fort Wayne Tin Caps, I think, I'll be honest with you, I think Fernando Tatis Jr., I think, is on most people's radars. Who's like the second tier guy? That's what we want to know. Who's like the second tier guy, possibly in sets like these, that could be like a big name in the future that, that is not on everyone's radars? I think that's really what our collectors here at Jaspi's Case Breaks would be interested in. All right, last box, last three autographs. Um, Newton's thinking uh, Lucan. I think Lucan, the Cardinals guy, Lucan Baker. Jay Cohen says, I'll give you a name. All right, thank you, Jay. Jay Cohen saying Josiah Gray. Nice. Well, there you go. This is this is the fun this is the fun of Bowman Draft Baseball. I'm I'm a pretty big baseball guy. I think I I probably know more about baseball than any of the other sports, you know what I mean? I love prospecting. I love seeing these guys come up the ranks. I love the farm system. I love I love it. So I think all this all this prospecting talk is always so interesting to me. That's right, Rich. Just as many grades as Wang. Robert Rohr is saying Tyler Frank for the race could be an interesting one. This is true, yeah. Jay Cohen saying this guy isn't exactly unheralded, but the Cubs really do like Nico Herner. And that's the fun part of it, folks. Remember, like, Reese Hoskins? Where was Reese Hoskins drafted? He wasn't even in Bowman draft, I think. He might have been in the Elite Extra Edition, which is on jazzyscasebreaks.com right now, but, you know... I mean, that's the million dollar question, man. Right? It's like stock market. What's, what's that buy low candidate? All right, three more autographs to go, ladies and gentlemen. Some good science chatter at the beginning of the break. Closing out with some good baseball talk here as well. See, this is, this is the kind of added value we deliver at jazbeescasebreaks.com. Some good breaks. Hopefully some nice hits for, for everybody. And what I like the most is the good intelligent chatter that we have here. All right, good luck, everybody. 
Last three autographs. There's Pedro Avila for the Pirates. Pa Padres out of 499. We've got a Ranger coming up, and that is another Cole Wynn autograph. For the Texas Rangers, another one for TC. Your 15th overall pick. Two more autographs to go. Through this paper. Two more autographs. There's Corey Howell, purple chrome for John out of 250. Greg, this is indeed Pick Your Team 5, 8 box jumbo, 2018 Bowman Draft Baseball from jazbeescasebreaks.com. There's Axe Kirilov, purple paper out of 250. Twins have some decent prospects, right? Ooh, look at this. Noah Naylor, your 2008, class of 2018 autograph, 120 out of 250. I guess, I guess they do have another catching prospect right there, huh? Greg, with the Indians. Just in time, Greg. Yeah, we don't. Let's not worry about the Marlins, Greg. How about Noah Naylor? And you got the Indians too. One twenty out of two fifty. Let's not worry about the Marlins, though. Who cares about the Marlins? think there are any Marlins for you. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Uh, there's Griffin Conine. There might have been some parallels. Griffin Conine out of 402 looking for one last autograph. I think there, were another, there was another Indian in this set too, right? Or in this break for Greg. I don't remember who it was, Greg. Uh oh, John Oakray saying first Bowman case without Brewers. We're not even done yet, John. We've got one more left. I still have a chance. Uh, I'm going to do an auto recap, Greg, in a separate video. I decided I'm going to do all the randomizers and then the random for the gifts in a separate video. Greater all. And no, sorry, John. But congrats to. The Rays, Daniel Patera, Nick Schnell is the final autograph of Pick Your Team number five. We've got more in the store, ladies and gentlemen. Eight box jumbos and six box super jumbos all on jazbeescasebreaks.com. So check it out, boys and girls. Now let's see if there's any low numbered parallels here to close things out. But that was your third and final autograph. Big thanks to everybody who got in. Jazbeescasebreaks.com. We've got more baseball in the store. Bowman's best. Pre-orders are in the store right now. That drops on Friday. There's Bo Burrows to 150. Very big thank you to everyone who got in. Breeze through this paper. Recap video in a separate video. And the randomizer for the gift. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. And there you have it. Thanks very much for getting in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Look at the next video for the recaps and the randomizers. We'll see you next time for the next break. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.